These are the so-called best years of our lives. No work, no responsibilities. That's what the adults told us, at least. They left out the raging hormones, drama, and emotions we can't control. The homicidal teachers, the superficial friends, and the lies. This isn't easy, it isn't supposed to be, and mistakes are bound to be made. But we'll grow from these, we'll grow into us, away from these people we're expected to be. Basically, my plan is just to hold on, because it's not the best ride, but I guess it's not the worst either. Two hundred and twenty-two. What are you doing? You scared me. Afraid I was Anderson. So don't forget their honors English homework. Not this time. This is the first time I've seen you doing homework ten minutes before class, Ali. Mom's gonna start thinking I'm a bad influence on you. <laughs> She's known you since third grade, and she still lets you raid our fridge. Hey, Anna, can I borrow your calc homework? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll see you in the hall later. No, I'm just gonna go behind the gym and do some drugs. <laughs> God, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell you can race with reflexes that suck that bad. Doesn't matter, I still beat you every time. That's crap and you know it. Oh, shut up. How's that car of yours coming, gearhead? Uh, it's seen better days. I give you major points, man. That car's a death trap. You're gonna need a lot of luck. The day that car is running is the day I streak through cheering practice. <laughs> Good luck dating cheerleaders after that. That's a little oh. thing called dreaming. Ah, oh, Freshie. <laughs> learning how to make jokes. Freshie? Really? That's not even funny. We still hanging at the garage tonight? Nah, I got stuff to do. All right, dude. Have fun. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, oh, Allie, I got you a sandwich. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, bye. Um, I'm headed out in a few minutes. I, I'll see you later, Allie. I love you. Of course you do. Hey, Elise. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, school, senior year. You know how that goes. Sorry, we haven't talked in a while. I've been on patrol the last couple of days. Yeah, it's fine. But hey, five months, I'll be back just in time for your graduation. <laughs> Good timing. So where are you at right now? I love you, Elise. Be careful. I will. Hey, where were you? When? Last night, sharing practice. You missed it. Oh, I was busy. I had work to do, and, and I had a doctor's appointment for, you know, my throat. This is the second time, though, Allie. Better be careful. The coach is going to flip. Did you just get here? No, I was in the library all morning. Why? Yeah, you look like you just rolled out of bed. Rough night. Okay, guys, listen up. We have graduation info here. You need to get this home to your parents and back to me tomorrow. This is definitely not all fun and games anymore. This is getting serious. You will be out on your own soon. Yeah! yeah. All right. You're actually starting your life now. Things are gonna change the minute you walk out of this door. You're adults. You're not kids anymore. What's that gonna feel like? You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Right. You guys are gonna be in control now. These next few years will alter the rest of your life. Uh, Mr. Anthony, can I go to the bathroom? Go ahead, take the pass on your way up. Seriously? Hey, what happened back there? 
Are you okay? Uh, you know, it's just a little stomach ache. Just take it easy then. I mean, come on, we can't be fine. What's this about? Some stupid thing on public speaking. <sighs> Guys? Guys, look what? Couldn't tell you. Huh, no kidding, stupid freshman. <laughs> You're an idiot. I don't know. What did she say the next unit was on? Politics, I got a go. war or something like that. I mean, sucks either way. Huh, got that right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Well, the longer you kids sit back there, the longer this class is gonna run. So come on, let's get down front. It's so nice to see you all. Okay, Scott, I'll start with you. Can you take one of those and pass them down, please? All right, people. You've all been assigned a monologue. All of them have to deal with American issues today. It's time to practice your fantastic public speaking skills. Who wants to go first? Scott? It's always me, isn't it? Well, you always look so eager to read. Yes, Mrs. Anderson. I'm not really sure what to think about the war. I'm young, you know. It's scary stuff. People getting hurt. Innocent people. Christian? Christian? You're up, kid. Our country has had many problems. We, we don't keep to our own as we sh should. This causes many innocent people to, to die for no good reason. We should not be going to war for reasons that are based on manip man manipulated tr truth. We should not exercise ego. Miss Anderson. C can I go to the nurse? Of course, Christian. All right. Who's next? What is this? Sick. In my mind, we're already gone, left as nothing but ghosts in this small town, sinking back against the promise of tomorrow, clinging to it, embracing hope. That poem, those few lines, speak so much to me. This small town is nothing, this small town drama, these expectations and pain, these memories that are meant to be so sweet and precious as our teen years amounted to nothing. Where do I go from here? Where do we go from here? What's up, bro? Hope you were expecting us. No, I can get rid of you now. Feeling better, big guy? Yeah, it's probably just a bug. <laughs> I believe that little bug of yours is called stage fright. <laughs> Not Odo, girl. I don't get stage fright. <laughs> then what was it? I gotta get some rest. Stay if you want, leave if you want. I don't care. I'm going upstairs. I gotta go into town anyway. 
So I'll see you later. <laughs> Same here, see ya. What's his problem? Will you shut up and get in the car? Did you get your homework done? Nope. What's the attitude, Christian? Leave me alone. <sighs> Whatever. I'm here if you want to talk about anything. Fantastic. Hey, um, Mom, can you come home? Allie, honey, you know I can't. What's going on? Why do you need me home? I, I just want you here. Oh, Allie, you're a 17-year-old girl. I'm sure you have better things to do than hang out with your mom for a night. Have you finished all your homework, studied for tests? Yeah. Maybe study your science a little. You need to get that 85 up if you want to get into a good school. I know. So, you know. Mom, I gotta go. Keep that in mind, honey. I'll talk to you later. Allie, put your butt up here. What the heck are you wearing? Are you sick or something? I thought it'd be different. Okay. Well, we're gonna go see Coach about some cheerleading papers for the tournament next month. Are you coming? Um, I'll catch you guys later. I have to go see Mr. Davis. I'll get a paper for you. No worries, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. Hey, Christian. Where have you been all morning? Scott and I have been looking for you. We practically ran laps around the school. I was in guidance, but I should go missing more often. Those laps will do you some good. You dropped honors English. I know, I was there. I also dropped calculus. I'm in honors now. Why? English sucks, dude. It's too much work. Nothing's too much work for you. Dude, it's senior year. Give me a break. I just want to take a little time off. You don't get a break in college. Christian? I give up. Honestly, there's no point. This school is filled with superficial friends. The minute you change, the minute you try to become who you want to be, and stray away from who everyone else wants you to be, it's over. So I give up. I'm tired of being broken, and I'm ashamed of who I have been the past three years of my life. Ten years from now, I don't want to be ashamed. I want to be able to say I changed. Right now, I just want all this to be over. If I make it through these next few months until graduation, I don't care where I go. I have no idea where I'm going, but I know it'll be alone. I'm always alone. So that's the way it is. I can't keep being fake and pretending everything's okay because it's not. It's a disaster. Coach? 
Oh, hey, Ellie. I came to give you this. Why? I mean, you haven't been to practice for weeks. You've been avoiding the other girls. What's going on with you? I just don't want to anymore. What is this? Is it a boy thing? No, it's not. You're not pregnant. No. I just can't. I don't want to. It's up to you, but I can tell you you have problems. Your grades are dropping. I probably would have had to cut you from the team anyway, sweetie. Bye, coach. Ali's been acting so weird lately. She's ignoring all my texts. The coach kicked her off the team. She's so messed up anyways. Hey! What the hell is your problem with me, Anna? What? You don't know. I just asked you, so obviously not. It's your little blog. What blog? What blog? You know about it, and so does everyone else. So go see a therapist. Get some help, because we all know how messed up you are. Let go of her! Shut Break. up! Get off, her. Get off of her! Get off of her! Stop! Stop! Stop. Her. Let's Stop You're her. a freak, yeah. Allie! Look at you! Look at your Allie. Allie. Stop You're it. killing yourself, and you yeah. know it! Calm down! Just calm down before you get yourselves both suspended. No. She's crazy! What just happened? I don't even know. Thanks for an epic Facebook fight right here. Come on. That's what we care about. Just enjoying the beautiful weather. Go sit in the front and warm up. Pop the hood too. I can figure this out. You're not gonna cut my brakes, sir. Yes, because I'm a cold blooded killer. Go warm up. You're out of oil. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, it could be worse. But you're gonna need a tow truck. You're not going anywhere. Right, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Why haven't you called the tow truck yet? Don't you want to get out of here? It's not like I have anything better to do. I hope you have your phone on you. It's in my car. I'll go grab it. It's not expensive, it's not a big deal. I don't care about the car, I don't care about the oil, I don't care about anything in the This is about what happened with Anna. It's not a big deal. Fights happen. Any other girl would have taken her out. You haven't heard about the blog? You must be the only one. I found into all that gossip. It's not my crowd. Lucky you. Tell me. 
I, I write a blog. I have been since junior year. People apparently started reading it a while ago. It was an anonymous blog. I, I, have, I have problems. I wrote about them and people read them. Anna read it and she made sure everybody else knew it. Hey, it's fine. Everyone has problems. Don't have to worry about it. It's not these stupid little cheerleader problems that you see on TV. Well, what are they? Serious problems, but I... <laughs> I made myself throw up, not, not to make myself thinner, or not to feel healthier, to, to make myself feel worse, to feel starving, to make everything else go away, to, to try to make my mom a mom again, to try and pretend that I'm not terrified about going out on my own. Like, oh, I'm depressed. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Why are you depressed? My mom's never home. My dad's two states away and he doesn't even care. My friends expect me to be perfect. I perfect this and perfect that. I just, I can't. No one's perfect. What kind of a life story would it be if it was, oh, hey, I just married Prince Charming bought a Lamborghini, and just won Jeopardy. It's perfect, because I'm perfect. We haven't even started our life yet. Everyone's insecure about their problems. They're just advertising yours because they're scared about their own. Some of them probably have the same problems. Just focus on yourself, make yourself happy. It sounds so conceited. If it is, it is. But it's what you need to hear right now. As great as I am with this whole advice thing, you should see someone about this. I'm not going to see a therapist. You need to see someone. Maybe the school guidance counselor. But seriously, Mr. Moore is the nicest person ever. I'm sure you two can talk things out. Um, but you, you really should see a counselor. I'm not. But that's go for see you and him to decide, not me. I'll think about it. I like. No, seriously, I'll think about it. Taking a nap? I'll wake you when the truck gets here. Hey, you know, why are you so smiling? Got a hot date or something? I wish. You're too young, I'm not letting you. What are you gonna do from all the way over there? Nothing now, but I have five whole months to plan it out. Put it on your to-do list. I think I can take you. What are you gonna do? Just kick mom and dad out? Trust me, I'll be such a mommy and daddy girl when I get off the plane. They'll be sick of me by then. <laughs> I really can't wait. I really can't wait either. Christian, I gotta yeah, go. What, what's going on? I love you. Everything's what, what's fine. Happening? I'll be okay. All the time. I love you. I'll talk to you later. At least wait. Yeah, honey. Uh, uh, honey, no, I can't. Uh, my what heart is it? Hurts. Uh, I can't think straight. Well, just go back upstairs. You're probably overtired. I'll get you a glass of water. Oh, oh, serious. Christian, calm down. You're making a big thing out of nothing. You're fine. I'm not fine. I, I'm scared. You're fine, T Christian. Take me to the hospital. I'm not going to take you to the hospital. You're just overtired and you're overreacting. You, you, it's all in your mind. All my mind, right? There you go. Where are you going? He thinks he's going to the hospital. Why? I just... Are you coming? We'll talk later, Lisa. Christian, wait up. I'll drive you. Lisa, this could have been something really serious. It's 
fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Why is it so hard for you to believe? <sighs> People have problems. Teenagers have problems. But we can fix them. We can't just pretend they don't exist. This could have been a really serious heart problem. He could have died. Honey, oh, baby's fine. Honey, just sit down. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get angry with you, sweetheart. But you can't let this bother you. I can't lose him. I can't lose either of them. Elise is going home soon. It was just a drill at the base. They have them all the time. They're both here okay. Are you Mr. and Mrs. Callahan? Yes. Your son has had an anxiety attack. Why? Anxiety can be caused by lots of things. It can also be hereditary. Is there a history of it in your family? Yes. My mother had problems with it. All right. What do I do about this? You should see your family doctor. He may refer you to a psychiatrist or a counselor. Sometimes just talking about it will ease his anxiety. It will also help determine why he has anxiety and what causes the attacks. Here's some more information right here. If that's not enough, he may prescribe some medication. That's not always the best choice, but it will work. We don't have insurance anymore. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take that up with your family doctor. Well, thank you. I recommend that he gets some rest for the next few hours. Keep an eye on him. I'll show you the way out. We'll find a way to get the medication if you need it, all right? You'll be okay, son. Christian Callahan, he's out. Oh, all right, thanks, honey. Allison, come on in. Okay. How's it going? I think I'm going to be seeing you every other day now. You know, I'm really glad you came to see me. I think I'm just gonna run through what this is all about right now, all right? Okay. Okay. So for starters, you don't have to tell me everything. If there are some things you aren't comfortable discussing, they can wait. Just know, everything stays in this room. And I will not judge you no matter what. Okay. So Allison, where do we start? Well, for starters, it's Allie. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is ridiculous. How many hours have you put in that thing anyway? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> A lot. Uh, it's crazy. You've never. Uh, guys? Guys? Hey. What are you doing here? I came to thank you. For? I went and saw a guidance counselor today. That's great. Yeah, I think I'm going to be OK. Trust me, you will be. So what is all this? This? This is the car I've been trying to start for the past three months. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's missing the part here, part there. But I found them. Oh my god. Toss me those keys. Toss me those keys. That's good, right? Yeah. This is unreal. Come on. Where are we going? I don't care. You can pick. Let's just go. Look how smooth this thing is. Taking these main roads like a champ. <laughs> your phone went off. If you want to read it to me? It's from your mom. Video chat with Elise at 6? Hey, there's someone I want you to meet.
Dear tomorrow, you've been shining so brightly. I'll be holding on tightly to the words that you said. Cause you took that one moment, so much more than alone then. We were out on our own then, till you took me in. Then you sat down next to me with your heart on your sleeve. If I never would have met you, then I never would believe someone like you would be writing to someone like me. Signed yours truly. Then yours truly